Hey guys, my name's Tori and welcome to The Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am pretty new to YouTube myself. I just started my channel a little over a week ago and only have uh, one series currently running, but with the expansion pack, The Sims 4 Get to Work, that just came out, I decided that it might be fun to go ahead and start a couple more um, LPs and series and what whatnot to throw on there. So this is the first part to the 100 Baby Challenge. Uh, let's get into it. So I have the rules right here. It says... Your objective for this challenge is to give birth to 100 children in as few generations as possible. The challenge ends as soon as the 100th child is born. If you fail the challenge for breaking the rules, then the challenge is over. So, um, you have to create a matriarch, which we have her right here. Her name is Starlin Smith, and she is family oriented oriented, creative, evil, and alluring. And I went ahead and made her aspiration the serial romantic aspiration because obviously she has to have a lot of uh, dates in order to have the 100 babies. So <laughs> I thought it would be a good one to choose. Uh, let's see. So your matriarch can look and, and have any traits that you want. So that's obviously what I just went through. Um, she starts out with the normal 20,000 simoleons, which she had, and then we moved into a pre-made house already in um, Willow Creek. Uh, she may never have a job, so any money that she makes has to be earned by either painting, writing, collectibles, or something of that sort. And she may never get married. She can have boyfriends, but she may not have them move in with her. Uh, let's see, I'm just trying to get, give you the quick and easy version of the rules so we can get into the game. So she may not be pregnant by the same man twice. She can have more than one child with the same man, obviously, if they're twins or triplets or something to that. But she may not uh, become pregnant more than once with the same man. Uh, there are no restrictions on who can father the children. They just cannot move in and provide for the children. Um, all traits and aspirations for the children must be randomized. There is a mod that you can put into your game that's like a trait generator, but I really don't feel like messing with my game too much, so I'm just gonna close my eyes and wiggle my mouse around and hope that I find something. I also um, was considering maybe doing it by rolling dice. I don't know, whatever you guys feel is uh, the best way to do it. Go ahead and let me know. Babies may not be aged up until it says that it is their birthday. Um, children can be aged up after they get an A in school. Teenagers can be aged up after they get an A in school. And young adults can be moved out of the house to make room for more children. Uh, when your matriarch becomes an elder, she can no longer bear children and her youngest daughter takes over as the next matriarch and you cannot make room for more children by killing off underage sims therefore any child born into the house only counts towards the 100 after he or she has become a young adult <sighs> so many rules okay i'm gonna try to remember those might be a little difficult but there is something that i should tell you which i'm sure you probably saw in the thumbnail, this is no ordinary 100 baby challenge. You may be wondering why I gave Starlin the evil trait. Well, Starlin is actually an alien. <laughs> I've never seen anybody do an alien 100 baby challenge, but I thought that it would be kind of fun. So this is Starlin's true form. She has kind of like light blue skin. I think she's pretty. And then, oh, I forgot to show you, but on her, sorry, still getting used to this mouse. If you haven't seen my other videos, I normally play on my laptop, but I had to switch to my desktop for filming, so I'm kind of still getting used to the controls. Uh, anyways, Starlin has this pretty blue kind of, I don't even know what it is. It's some kind of really neat tattoo though. 
and when she's in her disguise because aliens can have human disguises to help them blend in I also had her keep the tattoo but I changed it to a more realistic color so yeah but that's that's the reason her name is Starlin because I thought it was kind of cute because she's an alien and I went with Smith because I don't know how many of you guys out there have watched Doctor Who, but that is my favorite show. And anytime the Doctor, who is an alien, uh, pretends to be a human, he always uses the last name Smith. So I just thought that was kind of clever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and purchase her a... If it'll load. That was weird. Okay, if I can find it. I'm going to purchase her a easel so that way she can go ahead and make some money painting because as it said in the rules she may not have a job so that's going to be interesting but yeah I thought it would be really funny my, my story is kind of that Starlin is um, she's evil because she would like to take over the world with her children so she wants to breed with as many humans as possible to create like alien offspring so that her alien children then could take over the world <laughs> I don't know I thought it was kind of cool so that's what we're going with go ahead and let her paint um, I'm I don't know we do have quite a bit of money I moved into this little tiny house I know there's obviously not enough room for a hundred babies but I figured that uh, it would take a while to kind of get pregnant anyways and and actually start having you know a lot of children so um, we can always just expand the house seeing as she is able to paint to earn money and painting once you get your skills up it goes pretty quickly so I'm hoping that that is something that won't be too difficult. Alrighty. I think I'm going to go out though and go ahead and get started on finding her a baby daddy. Ooh, what about Dawn? Come here, Dawn. Fall into our evil plan. Mwahaha. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very <laughs> good at an evil laugh, but that's okay. Uh, he's walking away. Run, Starlin, run! <laughs> so I know a lot of people kind of have an issue with um, the 100 Baby Challenge in The Sims 4 because they say it's not that hard because obviously you don't have um, toddlers. But, I mean, yeah, that's true. But I also think that it is a little bit harder to make relationships in The Sims 4 than it is in like The Sims 3, for example. So I think that even though there are no toddlers, it does still make it challenging because you have to build up the relationships with the fathers before you can have the children. I don't know, my thought process behind it at least. Go ahead and tell a joke about Martians, that's ironic. I'm not saying she's from Mars, but still pretty funny. Oh, Man, her needs just went down <laughs> really fast. Oh, happy course. Branca Flanobo. Eno Planar. Lavar. Talk about dreams. I don't know, I just thought it was kind of funny because, especially because they have uh, human disguises. So for her to disguise herself as a human and then trick these men into having babies with her, but really she's like this evil alien overlord that like wants to take over the world. I thought it could be pretty interesting. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to take her into the bathroom soon. Go ahead and introduce ourselves to these guys too because we have to have all the babies so it doesn't matter whose babies we have all right i think that's good we'll go ahead and have her use the restroom and oh i forgot there's a baking skill this is the first time i've actually played the um sims 4 get to work i was really really excited for the 100 baby challenge so I kind of wanted to start with that but I am very excited to to try out all the new stuff 
I mean, it kind of stinks, though, to have the 100 Baby Challenge because obviously you can't have a job, so I won't really get to explore the careers too much. But I was kind of thinking of doing a, um, just a get-to-work LP anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't know, what kind of videos do you guys want to see on my channel? I, so far I really only have series ideas. I don't really know, um, what kinds of... <laughs> I don't know, would you guys like game reviews, like my thoughts on The Sims Get to Work, or um, I, I know some people do like custom content videos. I do have some custom content, as I've said in some of my other videos, but I don't know, I'm, I'm finding that it just kind of glitches a lot, and it really, really just kind of annoys me. I don't know, if you've seen um, my Sims 4 Disney Legacy LP, uh, my character in that one, her hair glitches out a lot, and it's really frustrating, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the custom content in my game, uh, because with the get to work pack, I did notice there's a lot of cute, um, you know what, while you're watching TV, just watch the cooking channel, so at least you're learning. I did notice there's a lot of like really cute hair and stuff though, so I don't really feel like I need the custom content as much as I did. Oh, look, Dawn's back. Uh, sorry, the mouse is still just, I'm struggling. <laughs> the struggle is real. Anyways, Dawn is here, but yeah, I, did, I just uh, don't think I need the custom content as much as I did, or at least as much as I thought I did when I first started with uh, just the Sims 4 base game. <laughs> then again, in a few like weeks when I've played it a lot, <laughs> I might be saying something different because you can get bored of the stuff in the games really quick. <laughs> go ahead and go to romance. Compliment his appearance, and then we'll ask if he's single. Ooh, they're good friends. It should be very easy for us to seduce him now. I really want an evil <laughs> laugh every time I say something like that, but I just can't do it. Oh good, he's single. Not that it really matters, but I guess that's good. I need to work on my evil laugh, though. <laughs> Ask a risque question. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Confess attraction. And I know that Dawn is kind of <laughs> promiscuous himself, so it probably won't be that hard. We might get her pregnant, like, right now, to be honest. Which, it doesn't really matter if we rush it, because the whole point of this is to have 100 babies, so the sooner the better, right? Ah, uh, the first kiss. Oh, go ahead and get a picture. Whew, the camera is something else I'm trying to get used to. Okay. No boyfriend. We don't want that. What? He discovered she was an alien? I guess it doesn't really matter. Man, that's going to ruin the whole thing if they discover she's an alien every time they kiss her. Oh. Whoa, she's like glowing. Well, no wonder he figured out she's an alien. That's really, really weird. And kind of cool. And here they go to try for a baby. I should have known it would have been Dawn. <laughs> Take a pregnancy test. Man, that's very strange that the Sims glow. Or, well, not the Sims, but the aliens. Hmm. Woohoo! She's pregnant! Gonna go tell him. That's something I think is very, very cute that they've added that they go and tell the dads. Take a picture of this too. I'm pregnant! 
Oh, he's all, oh god, what have I done? What have I done? It's like, it's too late, Dawn. It's too late. <laughs> all right, go ahead and eat some of those breadsticks you baked earlier. Because the baking skill is awesome. I'm wondering if we're going to be able to make, like, super cool birthday cakes or, like, wedding cakes now. Okay, she just went and ate in the bedroom. Interesting. But yeah, because it's the baking skill, that's something I think would be really awesome. Really, really awesome. <laughs> uh, the Lego song just jumped into my head. If you've ever seen the Lego movie, you know what I mean. Everything is awesome. Yeah. I'm not going to sing it because I am not a singer by any means. But, you know. Okay, go to sleep. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and skip until the morning. Alright guys, it's 6.45 in the morning and I'm going to go ahead and get Starlin up for the day because she needs to take care of her needs and do some painting because we really need to earn that money. And you know what, I think once she gets out of the shower I'm going to switch her into her normal appearance because there's nobody here that she has to disguise herself from so I don't know I wouldn't want to sit there and wear a disguise all the time if she's almost done and then we'll take her get some food and work on the painting skill so we'll have her Remove disguise. She gonna do it? There we go. So there's normal Starlin. Go ahead and have her. Can she bake anything? Well, we don't want her to eat brownies for breakfast. Uh, we'll have her cook some scrambled eggs. Make some extra for the next time she wants to eat breakfast. I want to see her pregnant in her little spacesuit. Aw, it looks really cute! <laughs> so I know that if you have babies um, as an alien, your babies can either be full aliens, half humans, or half aliens. So that'll be interesting to see what... Oh, okay, well... I'm trying to extinguish the fire. How is that not an option? Really? Okay, well this just got very, very interesting. So there's no fire department. There we go. <laughs> I was like, how is this gonna put it out if I can't extinguish it and there's no fire department? Well, so much for all that extra money that we had lying around, huh? Well, okay. You know what time it is. Because that's just too classic. I, I think that's my first fire in The Sims 4. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Another picture. <laughs> oh, fire, really? I can't believe that. It would be on camera, too. My first fire would be on camera. <laughs> Clean the floor. <sighs> Anyways, I don't even remember what I was saying. Something about the babies. I guess it doesn't matter. I think her voice is really cool, though. The aliens' voices are kind of... I don't know how to describe it. They're very... Kind of like ro robotic sounding a little bit. Like there's almost like an auto tuning to them. It's kind of it's kind of cool. I like it a lot. They should have it be an option for like normal sim voices, just alien voice, <laughs> on the scale with like sweet and whatever the other ones are. I don't remember. <laughs> have her grab another breadstick because she's pregnant, and the pregnant sims eat a lot. They eat so much food. I actually might have to have her grab another breadstick. Uh, maybe not. She'll be fine until lunch. Go ahead and have her 
do a confident painting. See what that's all about. Oh wow, her suit, I didn't notice that before. The lights like move over it. That is really, really cool. Yeah, it's gonna be a little boring in the beginning because it's a lot of just kind of watching her paint because we can't really do much else. I guess we could run out and get some collectibles. Oh, I guess she could view it, whatever. And then create a copy. Hmm, that's new. I wonder if that's something only aliens can do or if it's just a new feature now. Alright, let's look for collectibles. Maybe harvest some plants, because I know that they're not worth a ton, but they do add up. Harvest the mushrooms, and a bluebell, and there's a collectible. I thought there were more of them over here, like next to the lot, I guess not. Hmm. That's alright. We'll just have her collect these ones. Maybe get some frogs. Frogs are always a good way to earn... Oh, I forgot they put that in there. The Easter eggs, because it's close to Easter. wonder if they're worth anything. Ten dollars. Woohoo! I think that said it was a rare one, too, so... <laughs> wonder how much the normal ones are going to be worth. Probably not much. Firefighter. Oh, never mind. It went away. Okay. I was going to read that, but apparently it had different plans. This one's worth $10, too. Oh, that's cool. $90 for a diamond. There's Cassandra Goth. Who's that kid? Aaron William. Hm. Don't know. Never seen him before. I guess I probably should have put her disguise on before I left the house, but oh well. Nobody really seemed to notice an alien just walking around, so I guess that's cool. I'm going to have to remember to do that. That one was worth 15 10. I think I'll keep the frog so we can breed it with other frogs. So I think that can earn some money too. Oh man, she really has to pee. Have her go ahead and do that. Oh, well, I was going to have you go now so you didn't pee your spacesuit, but whatever. Go, go pee before you eat that because that is just not going to end well for anybody put that in the fridge. Must be Dawn calling because he's the only person she knows. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this guy over here? Benson. Go meet Benson. Because why not? Oh, but first, see, I almost forgot again. Disguise yourself as a human. <laughs> and then go talk to Benson. Eat it up and wait for her to come over. That is a very interesting outfit. Finn. <laughs> With his mustache and heart shirt. I'll introduce myself to him too, I guess. We're going to have babies with everybody. Oh, and there's some frogs before we go home. <laughs> Collect the frogs. Oh, and he's mean. We'll have lovely children with him. Evil and mean. Let's see, are there any... That's a woman. Woman. I think that's Jeffrey. Yep, let's go talk to him with his wife right over there. I think her human form is really cute. I mean, her alien form is cute too, but 
I really like this hair that came with the Sims 4 get to work. I like short hair anyways, but that one is just super, super cute. Okay, boast about family. Um, let's not tell him you're already pregnant. That's not a good way to start out the relationship. I mean, he can probably tell, but we'll just pretend that he can't. <laughs> Oh, Maxis. Always making things pop up on my screen. <laughs> Joke about politicians. Deep conversation. Hug, maybe. Might be a little soon, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, okay. They're not gonna hug, I guess. He was like, get away from me, lady. Oh, he's good. Hmm. It probably doesn't matter if you're just trying to have a baby with him and not marry him. Go ahead and speed it up. It's probably good versus evil. Yep. Yep. Well, I'm going to go ahead and have her go to sleep. Not that she has to work in the morning, but still good to get your beauty sleep, especially if you're pregnant. With hopefully multiples. Speaking of multiples, I wonder... I forget where it is. Where is it? Wow, I'm bad at this. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering how much the fertility treatment is. Because that is definitely something that could help us. Mm, there it is. Oh, wow. Okay, she's got a ways to go. So we'll have to get her... Um, aspiration up some but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this part up here and I will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching bye